Hello. What's up? Guys, hope you're having an amazing day. Antonio, what's going on? Hope you guys are all having a great day. Today I'm going to be talking about how to win your weekend, how to set up your weekend for success. Honestly, this is my favorite topic. Omar, what's going on? Good to see you too. So guys, this is this is my favorite topic. Uh, if you guys see me looking across the board, we're, we're everywhere. So here we're on Instagram. Right here we're on, what are we on right here? We're on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitter. Here we're on TikTok. So guys, as you join in, just ha say hashtag I'm here. If you're watching on replay, hashtag replay. All right. So, um, we're going to be talking about the weekends. Honestly, I feel like the weekend is the biggest make or break of people's um, success or non-success non with their fitness journey. So, I'm going to give you some easy tips that you can do this weekend that I want you to apply right away, directly this weekend, because this is going to help set you up for success, all right? So, I'm going to just be talking, and then if you guys do have any questions, just pop them in the chat. And I'll get back to you, but this is going to be a recording for my podcast. Um, so we're going to be starting in three, two, one. Welcome to the Real Results Podcast. Today is July 21st, 2023. We're going to be talking about how to set yourself up for a successful weekend to make sure that you don't fall off. All right. If you feel like you are always doing well Monday through Thursday, then Friday hits and Saturday hits, Sunday, you kind of start recovering, but you always ruin your progress over the weekend. I'm going to give you some easy, you know, tangible steps that you can do today in order to make sure that you not only win this weekend, but win every weekend. So that way you're not always taking like one step forward and two steps back. All right. So guys, like if your weekend festivities hold you back from seeing progress, I'm going to share exactly what you need to do so you never go backwards. So number one, the, um, and I think this is a very easy thing to do on your weekends because most people's weekends are like jam-packed anyways. Uh, and so number one is just stay busy in the morning. Stay busy in the a.m., all right? Um, go for a workout. It's a perfect time to get your workout in, all right? So you could go for a workout, um, you go for a walk, uh, go on a jog, uh, go on a hike. Just do something that's going to keep you busy so you can save the majority of your calories uh, in the evenings because for weekends, that's when the majority of our, you know, that's when the majority of when our festivities or parties or barbecues or whatnot are usually happening, usually happening in the late afternoon or evenings. So if you stay busy during the day, um, you know, whether that's, um, you know, again, getting in a workout, going for a hike or anything of that nature, uh, you're not only going to burn calories, but that is time spent away from just lounging around and like being lazy and just mindlessly eating all right so that's number one is stay busy in the evening in the a.m so number one stay busy in the a.m uh number two this is a uh this is a major key all right so if you're watching live you can hashtag major key right now but number two is going to be front loading your protein front loading your protein so what does front loading your protein mean what what the hell does front loading protein mean uh front loading protein uh especially if you have an event to go to uh it means having the majority of your protein in the first half of the day having the majority of your protein in the first half of the day okay the reason for this being is because one if you have um fat loss not just weight loss goals but if you have fat loss goals you should be uh, having a protein goal, right? Whether that is a, a number, a range um, of, of a macronutrient, like between a certain range that if you don't have an exact macro target for your protein, but your protein should be high if you want to aim for fat loss. All that being said, you want to have the majority of your protein in the first half of your day, okay? Protein is going to help keep you fuller longer, okay? It's going to help you you know, by doing this and having it in the first half of your day is going to help you reach your protein goals. Okay. And then it's also going to aid in, you know, keeping that tone or muscle um, and or building that tone or muscle, which is ultimately what we want. All right. At least here, if you're on this channel right here, that's what we focus on. Fat loss, not just weight loss, meaning that you're going to 
Uh, not yes, see that number on the scale move down, but more importantly, like just see the difference in your clothes and your body composition and whatnot. So we don't turn skinny fat, what we like to call in the fitness industry. So number two guys is front load your protein, have the majority of your protein in the first half of your day. So that way, like, you know, you could even measure it this way, like have 75% of your protein goal by like 3 PM. All right. So that way you know, at the barbecue or at the party or at the event or whatever you're going to in the evening, um, you know, you could just have like spare protein here and there uh, and hit, and still hit your goals and, st and keep full. So that way you're not feeling like you're, um, you know, like you're very hungry and then you're going to have the need to like snack or, or mindlessly eat. All right. So that's number two is front load your protein. Number three, last but not least, be present. All right. Be present. Guys, I, when you are having weekend or weekend festivities or anything of that nature, barbecues, anything of that nature, like, yes, you know, pink elephant in the room is that the majority of these things are surrounded around food, right? Of course, everything's surrounded around food, but focus on like the company around you focus on like what you're there for. Like if you haven't met up with friends, if you're doing a game night, if even if you have a even if you are having a barbecue, right? Like have a small plate, step aside, you know, enjoy your plate, but also enjoy your company. Talk with your friends, talk with your family, people that you haven't talked to in a while. Um, and just be present in the moment. If you're doing a game night or anything like that, like you don't have to do game night while constantly snacking, right? Put the snacks away or have what I call our small plate rule, like have a small plate and have a, a few snacks on there and then be done with it instead of like, having one chip here and there and that adds up to thousands of calories at the end of the day. Um, so last but not least guys is be present, focus on the company around you as opposed to like all the food that you can easily digest and that's easily, easily available during this time. Okay. Um, and if you are traveling, let's say you are traveling, let's say this weekend or any weekend is, uh, consistent around like lots of travel and whatnot. Um, you can, uh, you can buy or bring food ahead of time. Okay. Uh, there's lots of options nowadays. So just some things off of hand, there's protein chips, there's protein bars, there's beef jerky. There are frozen dinners that are high in protein that you, that you could buy on the go. And yeah, like, is this ideal? No, right? Is this ideal? No but it's going to be much better than having fast food on the go. All right. So you always want to do the best you can with the circumstances that you have. Meaning that like, yeah, are these foods very high in sodium? Um, yes. Okay. But that doesn't mean that just because they're, we want to pick like the lesser of two evils. Okay. So the lesser of two evils is like, yeah, still hitting our protein goals, having some frozen food while we're traveling. Um, and making better decisions than just like, oh, well, you know, I can't make the right choices and I don't have time to, uh, I didn't have time to cook at home. So I'm just going to eat at Burger King or whatever. Has anybody been to Burger King? I haven't been to Burger King lately. But anyways, you get the idea. So that way you're not like always just like making an excuse to go eat shitty. All right. It's always best guys to have a game plan uh, than to wing your weekends because every time you wing your weekends probably doesn't work out well. All right. And I want to leave you with this. Making fitness part of your lifestyle is all about learning to make better decisions in not so ideal situations. Because everybody talks about like, you know, I, I talk to people that um, need help and or want to be clients or and or like are just starting or are clients. And they always say, the number one thing and the reason they join or the reason they're asking questions because they haven't learned how to make fitness part of their lifestyle. So I want you to know this and understand this, that making fitness part of your lifestyle is about learning to make better decisions and not so ideal situations. Don't do what I used to do and just like go all or nothing. Okay. Meaning that you're eating 100% healthy and clean or you're eating 100% shitty and everything in sight. All right. Learn to make better de better decisions and better choices and not so ideal situations. And you will notice like small shifts from week to week as opposed to every Monday you sit or as opposed to every weekend you telling yourself like, I'm going to start again on Monday. All right. 
That is it, guys. The three things, stay busy in the AM, front load your protein, and make sure to be present with your company. Hope you guys got a ton of value. Um, if you're watching on replay, hashtag replay. That is it. I'll talk to you guys later, and I hope you have an amazing weekend. Bye. All right, see you at Instagram.